With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Okay, so the given question here we have is if the first two terms of a progression are log with base two, two fifty six element, and log base three, eighty one respectively. Okay, then which of the following statement is are true? Okay, so these are the first condition given to me. So first of all, let's look at the solution here part here I have. So it's given to me the first two terms of a progression are what? So first term is basically also I can say that my first, my first term. Okay, so my first term is given to me as what? Log base two, two fifty six. So log, okay, base of two, two fifty. Six. Okay, so I can write this log of base two fifty six as what? This can also be written as just let me correct it here. This can also be written as log of base two two having the power of what? Two having the power of eight. Right? No confusion till later. I have here. So now this can be written as what? This can be written as eight log of base two two. Why? Because we know that whenever I can also write here that since since log of a having the power of b can also be written as what? B log of a. Okay. And now this one, this one can be written as what? This one can be written as now my here eight equal should be equal to eight. Why? Because this log two and with a value of two should have a one value. Why? Also this is a property. Let me write it down here that so log of log of base of c and this element of c will always give me what one value. That's why I'm having this as eight here. Similarly, second term. Okay, just let me write down here second term. So second term here. This will be what as given to me in the question. Second term of progression is what log of base three eighty one. Okay, so just let me again simplify this log of base three eighty one. So this can be written as what exactly log of three three having the power of what three having the power of my four exactly because this is what eighty one here I have. So this will become what now again four log of base three and here three and this will become what four. So I have two elements now or we can say two simplified forms of elements eight and four. Now we have what we have to do. First statement says that if the third term is two log base six one. The terms are in AP. We have to check it. Okay, so let's check out the option number A here. I have. Okay, option number A. So given given that third term, given that third term is what my third term is given to me two log base six one. So two log of base six one is given to me. First of all, we know that what is the value of log one? Log one is what zero. Also, I can write here that since since log of Base one equals to what zero it is sorry log of irrespective of any base log of one value is always zero so in that case this will become what two with the product of zero equals to what zero okay so my third term is what zero so I'm having progression what so my progression so my progression will be something like this so just let me write it down here what is the progression so first one is what eight second one is what four and next one is what zero so we can say that there is a common difference of what there is a common difference of four we have here so we can say that eight comma four comma zero in what AP So if I go to the option number A, what it says that the third term is what this one? Then the terms are in AP exactly. So we can say option number A is what correct option. Now let's move to the B option. What is the B option? B option says that if the third term is log base two A eight, then the terms are in AP. We have to check again this one also. Okay. So let's move to a B part here. I have so B part is what guys? So B part is given to me. Says that third term is what my third term is what? If I again check it, log of base two eight. So log of two. Eight. So I can write this one as what again? Log of what? Two. Two having the power of what? Three or four? Exactly. Two having the power of my three. So I can say that this will be what? Two having the power of three. So this will become what? Three. Log of two base and here element is also two. So this value will become what? One because of the property we know. So this will be what? Three. So now we can say that. Uh, now I have progression what? So let me write the progression here. Uh. So my progression, my. Progression will become what? As my third element or third term is what? So my progression is basically given to me this one. So first one is what eight. Second one is what four. Next one is what three. So eight four three. You guys can see. Are this an AP or not? So eight four three are not in. Are not in exactly. Are not in my AP. Okay. So we can say that option number two is what wrong. This is not following property here. So next. Uh, third option here I have C. C option is what basically. If the third term is what log four sixteen, then the terms are in GP. Okay, now we have to check for the geometric progression. Okay, this is also interesting. So let's do now. So my third term. So my third term is what given to me in the question as here. This is a term. So what is the term here? Log of what? Log of my base four sixteen. Okay, guys. So log of my base four sixteen. So this can be done as what? I can write this part as what? Log of Base four here with the power of what four four square is sixteen, so this will become what this can be done as two log of four and here I have what four. So now you can notice log of four and four is this. So this is equal to what two. So I can say that so my progression will become what so my progression. Okay guys, so my progression here this will be first term is what eight 
second is what four we already know third is now two so now you can see that there is a what common ratio of, so there is a common ratio of we are receiving we are receiving is that this common ratio is what so first term is what so four by eight and then two by four so four by eight should be equal to what two by four and if you guys can notice the common ratio we are having both in both the cases this will give me what one by two and this will also give me one by two so the common ratio r r or common ratio is what one by two so we can say that these terms are in what these are in g p okay this is what we have to prove so now i can say that here option number three is also correct option here i have so now option number four here i have if my third term is what if my third term is two by three with the product of a log base to 16 the terms are in hp harmonic progression right this is what we have to check now so i can say that here option number d okay so it says that third term so what is the third term two by three right two by three and log of what if you can not also notice log of let's go here check log of base to 16 so log of base to 16 okay guys so this will become what now i can say here that this can be done as here okay so this can be done as 2 by 3 log of what base of 2 and 2 having the power of what 4 right 2 having the power of 4 so this will become what this will be 4 into 2 will be 8 so 8 by 3 and log of 2 log of 2 here i have what 2 so log of 2 into 2 will be what base of 2 this will become 1 so this will be 8 by 3 so i am having third term as what 8 by 3 so i can say that here now so my progression so my progression okay guys progression this will become what this will become first term is 8 second term is 4 and the last term we have is what 8 by 3 8 by 3 so we have to check is this in ap or not sorry in this it should be in hp or not how we can check it check it okay guys so first look here that we know that always in hp if a b c if a b c r n r n what hp okay so in that case what this equation says 2 times of 2 divided by b should be equals to 1 upon a plus of my 1 upon c right so from this here if i have to check here so this one 8 and 4 8 by 3 so here we can see that b is what 4 so i can say that 2 by 4 equals to what 1 upon a so 1 upon a can be done as what 1 upon 8 plus of what 1 upon 8 by 3 1 upon 8 by 3 so this will become what 2 by 4 equals to 1 upon 8 plus 3 by 8 here i have so clearly this will become what this will become 4 by 8 or we can say 2 by 4 also from this 4 right 2 is there 2 is there so this will become 2 by 4 equals to what 2 by 4 this condition is satisfying here so i can say that this part also this part also in what this is my series for hp this is the series for hp so i can say that option number option number d is also correct option here i have so which options are correct from among all the options option number a is correct option number c is correct and option number d is correct but option number b is wrong so these are the answers we are looking for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today